What's going on YouTube? So here's the uh, finished product of the fox body. It's kind of hard to see it in the shade here, but it's not completely black. It's kind of like a, I guess the easiest way to compare it is a Jolly Rancher grape color. Um, <clears throat> came out pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Got the scoop all sculpted and threw some uh, some glossy black on there. No time, no prep. But it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, one thing I was happy with is it does not rub on the body. Can get pretty much full travel without rubbing in the rear. Um, and this is this is a wing that I actually put together myself. And this is actually what I used to kind of fab it, fab it up. I actually just went to Home Depot. And just got me some Lexan. It's point, point zero five thickness. Um, one thing about this Lexan, if you do go this route, is you kind of have to draw it on there and score this. It's almost like a tempered glass. This one is. Um, and uh, you kind of have to just score it and then break it. That's kind of the hard part with this this kind of Lexan. Because um, you know, once you cut it, it starts shattering. Uh, but if you, on Amazon, this is another one that I ordered. It's a, this one's actually a .03 uh, type of Lexan. And you can, this is pretty pliable. This is actually what a lot of the Lexan for the, all the bodies is made out of. You can actually cut this. Uh, this is probably what I'll do for my next wing once I fab it up. But, uh, but yeah, this is pretty, I mean, it's pretty, pretty thick. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty sturdy, especially after, uh, I threw some, threw some paint on it. And, uh, this is, uh, these are some, some, uh, nylon nuts that I found on Amazon for, uh, what is it? M M3, I think. Black RC mounting. nylon. I'll take off the body and I'll show you what those look like. And then I kind of got a universal screw kit for all of the screws. I mean, yes, it's not perfect um, as far as cutting, just like I said, because I had to score all of this and and uh, so that's what it looks like underneath. Put some some screws, some nuts on all of them. Sucker's not going anywhere. And this is how I mounted the the scoop. Yeah, came out pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's pretty much on on that. Everything else is still the same as far as setup. Oh, I did upgrade the the pinion to a 32 and I did some testing uh, today and <laughs> it's it's uh, quite a bit uh jump up from the the 28 runs pretty good and actually been I've been talking with aka um, this is their their slicks uh, their stadium 2.2 slicks they're running pretty good I mean as far as Longevity. I mean, they have still got quite a bit of life in them. I ran, I don't know, five, six good passes today on the street. A couple of burnouts. It's still pretty good. Um, this is what they are. If you're in the market for some 
some 2.2s. A lot of people run actually the 2.2, 3.0, which is fine. I um, actually just ordered the Chrome J Concepts wheels. They should be here uh, probably next week or so. And actually put a little sticker on the back for them. And then these are my other wheels that I, I got. I mounted them up on another set of things have a deep offset. I'll probably post another video with them on there. I kind of have to mess with the, the wheel hexes. I have to run really, really narrow ones in the rear just because of how deep the offset is for these. But you can see what these look like as far as an offset. Um, but yeah, just want to give a little mini update on the slash build as far as the new body. But, uh, but yeah, thanks guys. And we'll talk with you soon.